Hi, in this video I'm going to be solving this trigonometric equation sine of 2x equals 0.5. We're going to start as per usual by using the calculator. We're going to say that 2x is equal to the inverse sine of 0.5. Using the calculator this is going to give us 30 degrees which means that x is equal to 15 degrees, 30 divided by 2. Now we have a look put down here, a little sketch of our unit circle. Okay, and we're going to be placing that angle 30 degrees here. The sign of that angle is the vertical component, so it's going to be this distance here, if I can make it visible. Okay, this green line there is the value of my sign. If I transfer across that angle to the second quadrant and I again show there the sign, that vertical component, these two signs have the same sign, they're both positive because they're above the x-axis, they are both equal in magnitude as well. So this is 0.5, this one here is 0.5 as well. The two angles, remember this one here was 30 degrees, this one here is also 30 degrees, which means in terms of absolute values, what we have is that 2x is also equal to 180 minus 30 degrees which is going to give us 150 degrees, which implies that x is also going to be equal to 75 degrees. Now, as we're looking at 2x, if I draw down here in a corner a little sketch for the sign of 2x, if we have 2x, what was happening in one iteration in the unit circle, now it's happening double. So between 0 and, two thir uh, and 330, sorry, now we have double values. Okay. Now, if our equation is saying the sine of 2x is equal to 0.5, I'm going to draw a line here around the 0.5, and I'm going to have that there's this point here, which we calculated, this point here, which we calculated, but there is also a point here and a point here, which we still haven't found. At the moment, we have only two solutions. Okay, that means we need to look back at our unit circle and go around the circle again. Our next points are going to be 2x equals 360, full first turn around the circle plus the extra 30 degrees and the next one is going to be 2x is also equal to 360 the first turn around the circle plus 180 minus 30 and these are our, our four values so we have here 390 degrees and we also have here 510 degrees. Again, if we use our calculator, I'm going to move it here to the left, we can check that 15 times 2 and then calculating the sine of this is 0 0.5. We go 75 times 2 is 150. The sine of it is 0 0.5 again. 390, the sign of it is 0 0.5 and 510, sorry, 510, calculate the sign of it is also 0 0.5. So we need now to calculate the last two x values, which are going to be x here and x here, 
just dividing by two the two values that we got. So the values are 195 and 255. These four values, 15, 75, 195 and 255 are my four solutions to the trigonometric equation. If the equation gives us a range of values acceptable for x, let's say our question said x has to be between 0 and 180, for example, we would neglect the last two solutions and our solutions would be 15 and 75 as 195 and 255 are both over 180. And this is the solution to the problem.